Okay, we have got the we bring the camera down a little bit and it's a bit too high up now. Mm-hmm. So it's you know, tea towel with the chip for now, but uh, just uh, it's not been any fire, so don't worry about that, it's just covering it up, right. Uh what are we gonna do? Milk is what's going on with the thing here. An old milk bowl, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use the milk water or something else, but what I'm gonna do here, right? And I zoomed in a little bit, right? And we're going to take this housing bowl, which I've already attached wires to the top, so I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, I'm going to use the tape to stick it on here so we can uh, see what I'm doing with it. You can see the thing lighting up with it uh, in case it melts all over the, all over the camera. Now, I'm going to overvolt this just with batteries so it's perfectly safe. I'm we'll going to put this ceramic cup there in front of it, so we can split the wire there, I said that, that's all right. And we've got... Well, not went to the extent of buying jury cells in so this is these alkaline bars from a certain supermarket. Uh, may volt static currents. This may affect the camera a little bit, but... We have light. At 9 volts, not as bright as it usually is, but... Uh, only 9 volts, but... Let's cut two batteries to get on serious and see, see if we can handle 18 volts. This may be a bit bright. A 12 volt bulb running at 18 volts. And again. Just for a little bit, we'll run it at 18 volts. That's, uh, that's uh, six volts above what it should run on. How long will it keep lit for? I don't know, but it's getting extremely hot. Circuit at the batteries we're not actually using. Them. Yeah, I was thinking. Maybe hooking that up to the mains and see how uh, uh, see how far it shatters, but I don't know. I'll get the safety goggles out and uh, my eyes are already I'm getting red eye from that weird as it is. Now we'll see if we can get all three batteries to get up. Yes we can. I think only just. Now at 27 volts, how long will it last? The filament coil was violently shaking about inside there. So what I can see from my eyes. Oh, I can handle that. I've only got the three batteries, I've got that, I've got that and that. I've only got the three of these batteries just now, so... Uh, can't get any more. The heat off of that is some minutes. I don't like the idea of that. Oh, I've, got, I've got red iron, but the heat off of that, that little bulb there, which is designed to run 12 volts AC through a transformer and a light fitting, was just running on 27 volts DC. Oops. Well, well, well focus there, that's a high definition camera. It is too hot to possibly physically touch it. I'm amazed that it would actually take that on, you give me sunglasses that before the dragon. But, outstanding that they can actually take, take, uh, take 27 volts. Hmm. And you can smell it as well. You can smell the heat of it and the electrical tape as well, you can smell that too. Never, never, never knew it would actually stand that or it would go pop, but it hasn't went pop, so maybe we'll need to go and get more batteries and add more batteries to that. Hmm. I would put it on the mains, it's like what it shattered all over the place, so uh, I'm not going to do I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have a little bit more uh, fun with batteries, but uh, okay. Uh, 
I've got, I've got red eye here and I can hardly even, uh, everything's going all red flashes all over the place. <laughs> 27 volts DC for a 12 volt AC bulb, but that's the worst student. No, absolutely we still it. Let's zoom out again. Amazing what some of these things can take. Mm, okay. Let's give you another blast of 27 volts. See if it pops or if it, if it withstands it. For 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and cut. I actually took it again. But the battery's getting hot. Oh. To do with the impedance and also the resistance, Daisy chain and the batteries are gonna this bit. The what uh, the three batteries here was an identical type uh, from Morrison, so you can see the left one is starting to get warm. The slight heat in the middle battery, but the left one's starting to get rather warm, so I'm not gonna push the batteries anymore. What well, I think I might do with that is I might use the transformer um, uh, I mean, I might need to build a small step of a transformer and still be good to get up to 36 volts, but uh, unless I can get a 36 volt transformer from something, but uh, I'll have a look online to see if I can get a component wise because you can use the buy transformers that I open up, but some of them won't have got crap load capacity, so uh, we've got to be careful about, about what we buy it. Because you can wind up with a fire on your But, forget about fire risking and anything like that, that tiny little bulb. Can ha uh, which is the center on the 12 volt AC can handle 27 volt DC for 10 seconds, but, uh, but the battery it was taking the main return from it. Hang on, was it the main return? Yeah. Yep, then yep, the negative oh, uh, the negative there on that on that bar on that bar theory because it's taking all the return and coming back from the lamp. This is the one that was getting quite warm, but so. When you're mucking about with these batteries as well, and putting them in the series, whatever you do, do be careful with them because they can explode, especially when you daisy chain too many of them. They're not meant for the high amperage. I don't even think they're actually meant for the actual amperage of that thing, that light bulb's pull. But, uh, you know, it's only 20 watts, but there we are. A 12 volt AC capsule bulb running 27 volt DC and handling it. Even though the filament coil is going, uh, going about, uh, back and forth with that, but uh, it's handled it. So uh, that's, all for, uh, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and uh, do subscribe. Uh, uh, we all made it free. And uh, feel free to like this video if you like. Uh, if you like what was, uh, anything, was, uh, if you like anything I've got, uh, I've got up in my channel, just feel free to like it. We've got all different sorts of stuff, and it's not. It's not just this, the, the, next, the next thing I just put, I just dump uh, this and that and that. I, I used to put a lot of stuff on the channel, but I took it all down because of, because of the phantom flag. So, uh, there's nothing dangerous here. Just so anybody knows, there's nothing dangerous here. I know what I'm doing with this sort of stuff, but and, uh, and it's for these things. As long as you watch what you're doing with the 9 volt batteries, you can use it. It doesn't need to be supermarket brand, it's just cheap one, cheap alkaline batteries from the supermarket. Wouldn't waste good Duracell batteries. <laughs> uh, well, I can move Duracell batteries. I'm not using the rechargeable ones uh, the, the, because the, the rechargeable ones will only put about 8.4 volts or something like that. Uh, yep. So that's it. I won't waffle too much. So thanks for watching, folks. And uh, be back doing something else soon.